Welcome back to Box of Delights. I've got a Kickstarter to show you today. I think it's something that you're going to really enjoy. Um, I know you like solitaire games. And this is a deck of cards and it plays uh, two to seven. Um, but what I've done is I've submitted a solitaire variant which I've been playing the heck out of and I'm really enjoying. And I thought, well, do you know what? Why don't I open this up and show you guys how the solitaire variant plays? And it may encourage you to go back and, and pick up this, this project. It's about 50% of the way through, about 20 days or so left um, to go pick it up. Now, the first thing to say is I've made my own set, okay? Um, and I've just taken some, some pictures from um, the RSPB website of British birds. The birds that will appear in the published game will be um, North American um, of all different varieties, like we've got here. The artwork, again, this is I, I've <laughs> I've taken their template that they published as a free print and play. So you can go and download and, and use that free print and play to get a feel for for how this plays. But I just wanted to, to let you know really these are these are just paper in, in some card sleeves uh, and my own um, little version just to play test the, the solitaire variant. So let me show you some pictures of the final game. I mean look at the artwork, it's it's fantastic. Each one of these cards is literally a piece of art in itself and for nothing else you're gonna get a great quality product with some great looking art and you can enjoy those cards with a group two to seven or with the solitaire variant. So let me get get into it. I'm gonna give the, the deck a shuffle. Um, there are already some videos out there showing you how to play the multiplayer game. So this is really just something I've done especially for you guys. So I deal 14 cards. This is my hand. This is my draw deck. We're going to play, it's probably, how many it's going to be, 12, yeah, 12 rounds because we're going to be left with two cards left in our hand at the end of the game. First thing I'm going to do is sort these into their different habitats. Now the idea of the game is that we're going to go bird spotting and the more birds we spot, the more successful we've been and we're going to count up some scores different types of birds we can find in different types of habitats and they're going to score different numbers of points. Okay, These dots here show you how many cards there are in the whole deck, so there's two curlews in my homebrewed set. And each one of these birds has a unique icon. Uh, when you're playing the multiplayer game you'll be crossing off these birds as you spot them um, using these icons to, rec to represent them. So the curlew here is the two feathered bird that you find in the coast. The Dunlin is the, the egg iconed bird you find at the coast. Okay, The Dipper, the single feathered bird you find in the rivers and lakes. Okay, So again, I've, I've changed my habitats just to theme it more to a, a British um, environment. But the idea here is that we're going to be visiting these different habitats and when I play a card from my hand, I'm going to go off and visit that habitat and see what I can see. You want to be able to keep at least one, one card of each habitat. So if something does come up and you want to go, go spot it, you need a card to go visit that habitat. So at the moment, when these cards are in your hand, they represent places you can go visit. What is important is that when you go visit that habitat, you will spot the bird that's on the card you play. Okay, so given I've got mostly I've got a lot of orange. I'm going to go and spot the peregrine first. So I'm going to go off to the coast. Now this deck here is going to determine what other birds are out there in the environment. Okay, and we draw three cards from the top here. One, two, three. What this means is if I was visiting the woodlands, I'd see a J. If I was visiting the rivers and streams, I would the rivers and lakes, I'd find a kingfisher. I went to the coast and found the rare chuff and this raptor, the peregrine. 
These are the two birds I'm going to spot. Now, when you're playing multiplayer, what you'll do at this point is you'll tick these off on your score sheet, or they've developed a free app as well, where it allows you to just click the bird icon and the habitat you've spotted them in, and thereby keep a record of which birds you've spotted. Now, in the solitaire variant, you can just take these cards and put them to one side as the collection of, of birds that you've spotted. All right? Because what's going to happen, anything that you spot is going to remain in play for the next round. So when I go off and visit, I'm going to draw three more cards. And all the birds that were played last round and this round will be still there in the environment. Okay, so let's see how that works. I'm going to play... Uh, the, the Kingfisher's common. I've only got one Rivers and Lake card left. So I'm not going to save that. And I'm going to get rid of some of these I've got more of. I'm going to go and visit... The farmland. This is going to be deserts in the final game. So I'll put this one into play, and again we draw three more. One. We've been lucky. We've got a brown game come up. Two. Three. So this time, the corn bunting. I've visited the farmlands. This is where I found a bird that that I played, but also the brambling. We got drawn. Okay, so I can collect those. These were the cards played this round, these were the cards played last round. Now, these cards get discarded. Those birds have flown off, I can't spot them, I've missed the opportunity. All right? And this is where the, the strategy and the tactic comes in, and this is where the game develops. These two are still available for the next round. Now, in the solitaire variant, with the exception of the first round, every subsequent round we do something called a migration. And what that means is we get to discard one card and draw one card. So I'm going to discard possibly something I've already got, the brambling. Okay, I'm going to discard the brambling because I've already spotted that. And then I draw one card and I've got the buzzard. Wonderful. So the question now is do I go for the buzzard, uh, the, go to the woodlands and try and see the chaffinch or to the coast and see the avocet? Um, the chaffinch is quite common, the avocet less so. I think I'm going to go and... Yeah, let's try and let's try and get a few more from the coast. So I've got two already. Because here's the thing: there's seven birds in each habitat to spot. If you spot all seven, you get three bonus points. If I manage to spot all seven, that's worth ten points to me. So there's five different habitats. That's a maximum of fifty points. My highest score so far has been thirty-three. So let's see how I get on. Let's go to uh, let's go to the coast. One. Two, three. Okay, so we've lost the chaffinch. We've seen an avocet, the can common sandpiper, and the curlew. These remain for next turn. I migrate one card. Let's get rid of the curlew. Yeah, draw one. Okay, where are we going to go next? I quite like the look of that black cap. So let's put the starling down. Let's go to the towns and gardens. One. Two, three. Okay, so we lose the chaffinch. We've got the the black cat, the starling, and the blue tit. And these remain. Let's migrate one. So those are looking good. Mm, I have to let something go now. Possibly the magpie. Okay, and then draw. Where shall I go? Where shall I go? We need one, two, three, four, five, two more. I've got the dummy, I don't want to go there. Pheasant, yeah, let's do that. Let's go for the lapwing. We'll go visit the farms. We've got a field of farm uh, lapwings, we've seen some pheasants. What else do we see? The, the greed, the osprey, and the blue tits. Alright, we lose the dummy. We get the pheasant and the lapwing. Wow, I've got to get this osprey. There's only one of these in the whole deck. Okay, so for the raptors and the rares, there's only one. And this is the thing, I've played the discard pile face down, so there's going to be some kind of, you know, memory element. You know, did, did, the, did the great crested grebe, there's only two of them, is that already gone? Or should I go and take it now? I'm going to take it if I can. So we, we need to go visit the rivers and lakes to spot these two. Oh man, let's 
get rid of the J. Okay. What did we draw? I've done there. Alright, well, we already got one of those, never mind. Okay, let's go for this Osprey then, with the Dipper, all the poachers. Doesn't really matter. I think maybe one of these has gone already, so we'll use this one. One, two, oh, that's bad news. Alright, we've got these three, but. We've now got two singletons come up. That means we're not going to be able to get a full set of town and garden, we're not going to get a full set of woodlands. We've got to make a decision. Given my purple town and garden sets larger, I think I'm going to go for the missile thrush. Yeah, okay, let's migrate on first. Add a set we've already got. Not doing very well there. Um, goldfinch. Let's see what else we see in the towns and gardens. Blue throats, mandarin, and the blue tip. Okay, so we've got the missile thrush, the goldfinch, the blue tip we've already seen, so we don't need to keep it in play, we'll just discard it, and then we're going to lose these two. Okay, let's migrate. Our right, well, greens have kind of failed on us. Let's go. We need the Dunlin. That'll get us the set. Let's get rid of this one. One tilt tick. Good. Good. Alright. Well this is going to be good. Because this is the 6th and 7th. That will complete the coastal watch. Ooh, woodpecker. Nice. Gold crest. Magpie. Okay, so we've got the blue throat and the Dunlin. Excellent. I'm happy with that. That's 10 points. That's the whole set, isn't it? Yeah. Good, good. Right, my great. I'm to tit. Goldfinch. Uh, I've just realised I've lost a singleton here, the Mandarin. It was a rare bird, a rare sighting. We missed it. We were off the coast when this guy flew. Alright, I think Woodland looks like the option now. Let's see. We do have four. Yes, we could go a step. We haven't got long left. We could go a step closer to getting the magpie and the yellow white tail with the farmland and let these go because we know we're not going to get green we still just stand a chance of clearing uh, farmland mm, tough decision magpie's not worth any points he's common there's three of these tough tough yep let's do it all right we're going to the farm uh, great spotted woodpecker Alright, it's not a rare bird, but um, not easy to spot running around in the woods. Okay. Ah, uh, no bonus ones. Alright, yellow wagtail, magpie. We'll use these two. Oh, but sparrowhawks come up, that's good. So, let's see. Migrate this one. Ah, and there's the magpie. Never mind. That'll help me though, because I need one more. So if the final farmland bird comes up, I can go and visit it. So let's hold on to that. And then we'll play this one and go grab the sparrowhawk. I think that'll finish the set. Yes, brilliant. Barn owl. Grebe, Chaffinch, excellent, that's a set finish I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's all of them here, and the barn owls come up which is the one we want to complete this set, so we're going to ditch, remember I'm going to be left with two cards, let's ditch the 
got a crest. Trade up to Bullfinch. Got to play the magpie. This might be a record breaking score for me. One, two, three. There's two points here with the bittern, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, magpie we've already got, so we'll discard that. Barn owl that completes the set. Yeah, that's 30 points right there. 33 was my highest, and we're currently on 33, so one more spot, and I've done it. There these go. Let's trade one away, so what should we go for? This is the final play of the game. So it's going to be the Dipper. And there it is. I've got two cards left in my hands. This is going to mark the end of the round, but also there's only three cards left here. So let's see if we can pull anything else from Rivers and Lakes. It's down to this last card. Kingfisher. Not worth any points though. It's a common. Okay, let's see it. So we did manage to spot the bittern in our last trip of the game. And yeah, we've got a full set, that's 10 points. A full set, that's 10 points. A full set, that's 10 points, that's 30. Yeah, this is going to be my best score. 31. Two points for this one. Two, three. We've just equaled my best score. 34, 35, 36. That's tremendous. I'm happy with that. And that's where I'll leave it. I'm going to leave you a link to the Kickstarter page. Remember, this is print and play, my own version. Their artwork's going to be much better, and you're going to have some proper cards. Do go back it. This is this is good fun, and it plays quickly. Slip it in your pocket as well, because it's just one deck of cards. And you've got yourself a lovely little, greatly themed alternative to Klondike. I'm pleased with this one. And happy to be a backer. That's Birds of the Feather. Do go check it out.